Quest Grand Dazzlers! Quest Dazz Games! Parenting! Making life easier. Life hacks! As a parent, I know firsthand how hard it can be to raise a child. Let's face it, children are awful. <laughs> no, not really. My daughter is a saint. I feel she was one of the most easiest babies to take care of growing up. She's actually worse now. She's nearly a teenager. So I think we all could use a little bit of help. I know there's a lot of parents out there that watch the channel. And I need some help, all right? What if I have another one, okay? No, don't worry, I'm not having another one. Don't, you know, do fandom crap. Oh, Daz is pregnant. I look pregnant. <laughs> so we're gonna be looking at some parent hacks. You know, some parents have got together and created a community where we can all go and have a look at things they've done to make their lives a little bit easier with their little ones. You've also been asking for more like Daz's meme watch slash picture reactions, I think you're calling them, I don't know. So I'm gonna kind of splice the two. I, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Oh crap. Use a Kinder Surprise container to save a sucker for later. All right, so this is the keeping the crap off your lollipop. So you drill a little hole in the plastic egg and then, that's genius. That is genius. The amount of times I would put a lollipop down and there was either a wasp on it, which I nearly stung my mouth, or it picked up half the park and crap. <laughs> if you could just find a device similar to save ice creams, I'm in. Use cardboard to separate fighting children in a car. Let me tell you something, let me tell you something. I have a sister, all right? She's awful, she's, she's awful. Awful person, <laughs> she just, I'm sorry, but she is. That cardboard with me and her in the car would last about two seconds. I'd punch a hole through it. Very antisocial as well. I feel it teaches the kids to be antisocial. Man in the middle here is going to grow up with claustrophobia. He's never going to want to be in small spaces ever again. Thanks, Dad. Peel and seal is a great alternative as a bib. Okay, first of all, that child is too old for a bib. Child's like seven. Second of all, if you've got food down here and you've got to like peel that off, it'll go everywhere. Your child's not a lizard, all right? Looking like they're shedding skin out here. Need a quick palette for paint or kids play time? Use a large plastic lid and glue some bottle caps to it. I see that's clever. That's clever. I, how come I never thought of that? The amount of paint I've cleared up. You get a tray, you get all the paints and stuff. I bought like a little plastic palette and just, you know, did it that way. Still goes everywhere. It's, it's not the, how, where you put the paint. Come up with something where you can clean the paint up or stop it going everywhere. Oh my God. Use pool noodles to keep kids from getting hurt on these springs. I got a 14 foot trampoline out there, okay? It's huge. My daughter loves it all the time. And the thing is, she hasn't quite yet met the spring of doom, but I remember a kid uh, in trampoline class in school who did it, and my God, I've never winced harder in my life, jumping up and down. I actually, I, I actually had a crush on her until she nearly crushed me. <laughs> She's jumping up and down on this trampoline, doing flips and shit. I was like, wow, she's like an angel. Crashing down too far one side. Boom, that went right through the springs. I swear to God, I just left, right? <laughs> I just left. I hated that in school, where in trampoline class, where they put students around the edge of the trampoline to stop them hitting the springs or worse, going over the trampoline. Teacher said, if one of the students on the trampoline falls towards you, either push them or catch them. I, <laughs> I said, miss, what? I got another idea. Yes, Daz, what is it? How about fuck no? No! <laughs> no one wanted to catch me on the trampoline. As soon as I got on the trampoline, they fucking walked away. And I don't blame them. Daz coming towards you and crushing you. But they will protect children from spring damage. I like that. That's my favorite one so far. Potty training tip. Put the child backwards on the potty seat. Give a child a dry eraser marker. I mean, it'll get them on the toilet and it'll keep them there and keep them interested. I mean, nowadays, we call that that toilet lid an iPad. Um, <laughs> my daughter was really hard to potty train. It took so long. I guess when you teach them this way, though, like I say, it keeps them on there, but you kind of have to train them out of it. <laughs> John, what took you so long in the toilet? I was just drawing my masterpiece. On what? The, the toilet lid. You, you guys don't do that? John, no. <laughs> I guess you'll have to train them out of the drawing part once they've um, successfully learned to pee. Use this game dinner tray to get your child to eat food. All right, so it's like a board game. You put food in to make the meat. All right, so you start here and all right, a, a chicken nugget. 
Good start. Good start, mum. I'm there. Cucumber. Yeah, I'd skip that. Grapes. I'd probably, you know, skip over that. Onion ring. I'm living for it. I'm living for it. I hope I roll a four. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. No, I'll skip that as well. I jumped through half this board. Why, why won't you fill it with, like, good stuff? Like crisps. Put some mayo in there. Shit. I'm not sure I agree with this one. Get out of having to make lunch every morning by freezing a batch of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches ahead of time. Frozen bread? That's not a life hack. That's how to make your children sick! Oh my god, I mean my mum bought some terrible things from the shop, but she didn't freeze my bread. Imagine defrosting it. And then put- oh, it'd be soggy. Have you ever had frozen bread? <laughs> oh jeez, that's not a hack. That's just abuse. Can't even with your kid pulling off their diaper, try putting the onesie on backwards. Oh yeah. It's kind of like a straitjacket for children. Baby- <laughs> Here's a safety PSA for you. Baby proof your drawers with the least effort possible. That doesn't sound very caring, does it? <laughs> I want to protect my child, but with just minimal effort. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. This dad has used his ruler. Well done. I think a smart kid would overcome that, though. I think they would easily, you know, just force that out. I think I would have been smart enough to figure that one out. You can also MacGyver your own outlet covers with band-aids. Plasters? I mean, look at that. That's easy to peel off. I don't think these are life hacks. <laughs> I don't think these ones on this site are life hacks. I think they're very lazy parents. <laughs> Use the bottle to keep track of your kids' doses. I mean, that's actually quite smart, isn't it? Once in the morning, once in the evening, twice a day, and you just draw a little chart on it. Man, it's so simple. Like, you just don't think. So many parents are standing there. I, I know I was one of them when your kid's got a cold or something, and you're like, did she have her medicine today? Because if I give her another one, it could kill her. Screw it. She's got school on Tuesday. She's having it. <laughs> Just draw a chart! I love that. Put magnets on your kids' cups so they stick to the fridge. What? For what? For what purpose? I don't know what that's for. Is it so they don't spill it when they're pouring it or something? Maybe I'm being dumb on that one. I, I don't know what that's for. Keep your kids from making a mess while eating in the car by putting their meal into an organized bucket. All right, that's a basket. That's actually a cleaning basket where you put like dirty cloths and stuff. See, I could do all that. I could get that basket. I could arrange it like that. It won't stop my daughter. When she was a baby, I barely had to clean her up. She's just... So, slurp that shit off a spoon. It's now. It's now. Everywhere I go, if I want to find her, I don't have to call her. I don't have to text her. I just follow the crumbs. Crumbs everywhere. You go to sit down on your sofa, it makes a crunching noise. She turns everything into a loaf of bread. <laughs> I know, man. I don't think a little basket's going to help me with that one. Okay, th this one is just, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> you can also use the air conditioner to cool french fries to a kid-friendly temperature. And I get it. I get it. I, I see fingers, but when you're sticking a french fry in an air conditioning unit, you got all that dust and crap that's in there. May as well call it down by dipping it in a stagnant pond. Like it's not, it's not good. No one wants a chip. Let's just come out of a, come out of a random hole in a car. Just blow on it. Stop being lazy. That, we don't need that one hacked. <laughs> Some real troubled parents out there, isn't there? Make shoe shopping stress-free by bringing your kid's feet, but not your kid, to the store. Okay, without the picture, out of context, that, that sounds horrific! <laughs> Bring your kid's feet to the store, but not your kid. That's what that big butcher knife was for in my mum's kitchen. I guess it's, it's a, a kind of a good idea, but I'd want to try it on. I want to see, like, my daughter, like, walking around... And stuff. This is not, these aren't life hacks. These are just like for lazy parents who don't want to do much. There's one life hack which will answer all these for you if you're this lazy. Boarding school. S -s military school. Just send them away. <laughs> they ain't got to do nothing. <laughs> Use lint roller to quickly pick up glitter. All right, I guess that's clever. Won't need it in my house though. A band glitter. We go out to a club or something and you come back and like your face is just covered in glitter. You look like you're out of twilight. Girls feel the need to throw you're pretty enough. You don't need to look like a firework. It's covered in glitter. And it rubs off on me. And then I, people think I wear glitter. Stop it. I should take one of these to a nightclub. Not for my daughter. Just roll it on bitches' faces. <laughs> K 
keep the glitter off me. Use a straw to remove a strawberry stem in seconds. Oh, this one's a video. I've got to watch this. All right. Okay, a straw. That was a plastic straw, though. You can't do it with straws nowadays because they're all cardboard. I mean, I'm all up for supporting, like, less plastic in the ocean and the turtles and stuff. I've had enough of trying to drink something and then I won't finish my meal because I've already eaten. The straw! Put a target in the toilet bowl to improve your kid's aim. Yeah, that's not gonna help. Let me tell you something, ladies, all right? I know it's a age-old complaint that we miss the toilet bowl. I... I sit down. Men are like, oh, that, you know, that's weird. Ugh. Why? I can either sit down and pee or I can just piss everywhere and then have to clean it up or someone else has to. I don't know why it's such a weird thing. I don't know why men are so uptight about sitting down to pee. It's the most inaccurate weapon in the world. It doesn't matter how clever you are. How careful you are. Sometimes you're aiming that way and it goes that way. <laughs> and by then it's too late, then it's everywhere. Just sit down. Sit down, pee, and it won't go everywhere. Oh, this one's this one's sinister, isn't it? This one would make me feel a bit queasy. When punishing your kids, don't take away their electronics. Just take away their chargers and watch the fear in their eyes as they use it less and less while the battery slowly dies. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, I'm going to use that one. <laughs> I'm actually going to use that. God, I come from a generation we didn't have to charge anything. We just had toys and went out on bikes and stuff like we were in Stranger Things. Guys, thank you so much for suggesting that I make this video. Let me know if you like this format of video. Um, sometimes it can be quite hard to find videos to react to and get permission to use them because you have to do that now. So like, let me know if you if you want to see like more like, I guess, picture reactions. I don't know. Like, love, caress my channel. Be a good parent. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay dazzling. <laughs>